Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the sections on the MCAT. This is more to serve as kind of an introduction for those who are not really familiar with the exam. I'm going to walk through the sections and explain a little bit more about what you could find. So let's get started. So the first thing to know is that the MCAT is comprised of four main sections. And these are the chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. Next we have critical analysis and reasoning skills. After that, we have biological and biochemical foundations of living systems. And lastly, we have psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. So the MCAT is split into these four sections. And then within these sections, uh, you'll find a few different subjects. So we're going to walk through each one of them. The first section, uh, as I mentioned, is chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. And generally, this is just referred to as ChemPhys or CP. So this section is going to have 59 multiple choice questions, and you have 95 minutes to complete them. It's a mixture of passage-based and discrete questions, mainly passage-based questions. And then the discrete questions are just a few questions that don't relate to a passage. And there's a breakdown that's been given by the AAMC, and they pretty much say um, that it's kind of an approximation, just to give you an idea. So this section has 30% general chemistry, 25% introductory physics, 25% first semester biochem, 15% organic chemistry, and 5% introductory biology. So the important thing to notice here is that the section is comprised a lot of general chemistry and basic physics, and that's really something important to consider uh, once you try to tackle these subjects. Organic chemistry really isn't as big uh, a deal as you might think it is, and so for the most part, chemistry and physics are really important things to study uh, in order to do well in this section. So after the ChemPhys section, you have an optional 10 minute break before you begin your next section. And I say it's optional, but you really should be taking the break. The best idea would be to, you know, go grab a quick snack, go to the bathroom, and then get ready for your next section. And the next section is critical analysis and reasoning skills, and this is known as CARS, it's just abbreviated. So this section has a bit less questions and you also get a bit less time. So it's 53 questions, 90 minutes, and these are only passage based. And generally the split is 50% humanities and 50% social science in terms of the passages you're given. It's not really ever that clear cut, but the important thing to notice is that you're going to have a certain number of passages and then you'll have um, usually like five to seven questions to answer based on those passages. Just this breakdown here is something important to notice. Uh, so the AAMC say that there's about 40% foundation of comprehension questions, 30% reasoning within the text, and 30% reasoning beyond the text. And I highlighted the 30% reasoning beyond the text because uh, for those of you who are really trying to do good on cars, these are really the questions you're going to want to get in order to, you know, get the really high up scores. These are really understanding the passage in a different way and being able to answer questions that really require you to have a strong understanding of what it is you just read and apply that to the questions you're given. So after the car section, you're going to have another optional break. This one is actually 30 minutes. Uh, you've reached the halfway point. This is a real good break to bring bring a good lunch, eat it, take a few minutes to relax before you head into the next section. The next section that comes up is biological and biochemical foundations of living systems, and it's known as bio-biochem because those are the two main subjects within it. So 59 questions, 95 minutes. We're going to have both passage-based questions and discrete questions. And the general breakdown from the AAMC is 65% introductory biology, 25% first semester biochem, 5% general chemistry, and 5% organic chemistry. So you can see that this section is dominated by introductory biology. It's super important that you are confident in your abilities to answer these questions. A lot of them are based on uh, data and labs and basically require you to kind of analyze the data and answer questions that come up. And of course, there's biochemistry questions and amino acids in particular become a really important part uh, of the MCAT in this section. After the bio-biochem section, you'll have another 10 minute break. And of course, take this, use it, make sure you utilize it as best as you can before you head into your fourth section, which is the final one. And that's psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior, known as psych-soch. 59 questions, 95 minutes, same deal uh, as all of the others except for cars, which is a bit less. 
And for this section, you're going to have both passage-based and discrete questions. And the breakdown is 65% introductory psychology, 30% introductory sociology, 5% introductory biology. So mainly psychology and sociology. It's a pretty straightforward section for the most part. A lot of it really depends on you memorizing a good amount of terms and theories and a bunch of other stuff and then pretty much like directly applying those to questions. So pretty straightforward for the most part, although the general consensus is that it's becoming a bit more experimental and requires you to put in a bit more thought into the answers. So after you've completed the psych social section, you have reached the end of your test, and you basically have uh, one last decision to make, and that's either to choose to score your MCAT or to void your MCAT. If you choose to score your MCAT, you'll get your results back in four weeks. If you choose to void your MCAT, essentially what'll happen is you won't ever get your score back. It'll be as if you never took the test. Schools won't know that you took the test. You know, you've gained the experience of taking the test, but you will never be able to know how good you did or how bad you did. People choose to do that option when they're not particularly confident in how the test went, but essentially it really comes down to how you feel in the moment and how confident you are in the studying and the work you've put in. So to conclude, the four sections of the MCAT are chemistry, physics, then we have cars, then we have the third section, which is biology and biochemistry, and then fourth, we have psychology and sociology. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about the section breakdowns on the MCAT, I would be happy to help. Please just leave any questions below. Thank you.